We're back with our home expert, Jeff Wilson, who's going to give us some great tips on maintaining our water heater. The most important thing is to test the safety valve. Now you'll find this valve usually close to the top of the water heater. You want to just test it by turning it on and off a couple of times, making sure that water comes out. It and basically, what does it, do? it makes sure that pressure can't build up in the water heater and make the water heater explode. The next thing is to flush out the sediment that will usually accumulate at the bottom of the water heater, sort of the, the hard water deposits and things like that that accumulate in them. First, you're going to shut the power down. If it's electric, you shut it off at the breaker box. If it's gas, you turn the gas off right there at the water heater. The next step is to attach the hose to the bottom. You'll see that there's a place where you can attach a garden hose. The next step after that is to turn the cold water supply off. That's at the top. Just touch the pipes at the top. One will be warm, one will be cold. Turn the cold one off. Then you need to run upstairs, run to a tap, let's say the kitchen sink, turn that on. And that's going to keep you from having a vacuum in the system and uh, you know keeps the water from like, in a, like when you pour out juice in a bottle, it goes glug, glug, glug. This is going to let it just pour right out of the water heater. After it's drained, turn the cold water line back on just for a second flush out what's in the bottom. Then you're going to shut the valve down and you're going to let that water heater fill back up. So you're going to need to run up, turn off that hot water tap you had at the kitchen sink and let the hot water heater fill back up. And then you reapply the power and it takes a little while for the water to heat back up, but uh, you're good to go. And if you don't want to do it, you can always hire someone like you. Good to see you again, oh, Jeff. Good. And that's today's tip.